Okay, so this video is to show how you can go from taking a picture like this and transferring it into a depth map and exporting an STL to get uh, and importing it into Blender and you get an object like this. So you can see this is a pretty nice rendition of uh, the original photo. So let's talk about how that's done. So we're here in Photoshop and so what we did here is we took an area over here on this side and we copied it and then we flipped it under edit transform under edit transform and just say flip horizontal and there and then I just added a uh, mask to kind of fuzzy it around as I'm looking at so I basically get rid of that mark whatever that was and then I save that out as a PNG next we go in to here sculpt OK we're going to add that image that we just saved which was here and this is sculptok.com forward slash image generator and all we want to do here at this point is just hit the draw button now you have to if you register you're going to get a certain amount of free points and you can use those free points to create this STL if you like so this is going to take a little time so let's go ahead and let it finish it's going to make create four different versions of this depth map that we can use so it's going to go through we're going to give it a little time and let it finish all four okay so here are the four different versions of the depth map that we've created and the one we want is the one with the black background and I can go to this 3d preview and it's going to go ahead and give me a preview and as you can see that looks pretty darn good right so if I click this download STL it's going to download this STL but it's going to download it with a watermark and I can go back here and I can also say no watermark preview right like this but this way it's going to actually remove the watermark but it's going to cost me 18 credits which I'm not going to do you can do that for yourself but I don't need to do that so anyway yeah and then you can download the preview so now we have an STL file right okay we're back in blender so let's just create a new file and I'm going to delete this and I'll say file import STL and we just go to where we downloaded that and here it is this uh, undefined one so I, here's the old, here's the one I did earlier. This is the one I just I just created. So I hit import. I, I let's scale at 0.001. So it's, you know we want to change the scale a little bit. And there it is. Actually, let's make it uh, 0.01. Okay, there we go. So and now you can see there's our model, and you can see it looks pretty good. And so we have 931,000, almost a million faces. So now we can go ahead and if we want we can decimate this. Now we can decimate by just tabbing into it hit an A, say mesh, clean up, decimate geometry, and we want to go in here and say 0.1, and it's going to make it 93,000, of course, something or somewhere around 93,000 triangles. So it'll take a little while, but once it's done, we'll tab out of it, and it still looks really good. So, and that's really it. That's the whole, that's the whole process to creating a very fast workflow using an existing photo.